Dear Dr. Tana, Most patients never get to meet the radiologist who reads their x-rays, CT scans, MRIs, or mammograms. Although often hidden from our view, we trust those doctors who work in darkened rooms to look for the things that might be hiding in the shadows of our bodies. Given that many patients don't know their radiologists, how grateful I am that I have met you, that I call you friend, and that I know firsthand how much you care about every patient, every single one. I first met you in 2011 when we served on a committee together. At the time, I was completing a treatment for breast cancer and undergoing frequent mammograms and periodic tests. Although I was a stranger to you, you reassured me that I was in the safest of hands possible at Lancaster General Health and the Suzanne H. Arnold Center for Breast Health. Without hesitation, you offered to help track my progress and to review my mammograms at any time. Since then, you have cared for me, talked with me, discussed imaging results with me, and provided extraordinary attention to my health and well-being. You have answered my questions, offered suggestions, listened to my concerns, taken my calls, put me in touch with other physicians, and followed up with me. Once, years ago, during a meeting, while I was still recovering from cancer treatment and overcome with emotion, you gently held my hand when I started crying for no clear reason and couldn't seem to pull myself together. Your natural tendency for concern and compassion surfaced within seconds. Oh my, I will always, always remember that brief moment and your compassion for someone you didn't even know. The wonder of you, Dr. Tana, is that you not only care about me personally and about my health, you did this for others. You make no exceptions. If anyone in our community or within your orbit needs your help, you jump right in. You go the extra mile to make sure that patients have access to the newest and best advances in healthcare. To say that I'm grateful for you is an understatement. There just aren't enough words. But I will say this, how fortunate for me and for our community that an immigrant refugee, a child from Uganda, relocated to Lancaster with his family and then chose to return following medical school so that he could care for those of us who call Lancaster home. We are the lucky ones. Thank you. Thank you, Kim. It's very emotional. That's almost, it brings me to tears. You do so much and you never do it for any reason. You just want to do it to help people. When you get a kind note such as this, an extraordinary note, it's very gratifying that somebody else is seeing that level of you know, care and concern that you express, not just for that person, but others in the community. I think it makes me feel very satisfied that I've achieved goals that I personally want to achieve in this community.